Hello artists! In this video I am going to show you a little bit about some of the art apps that you have available to you as we are working in this class. So what we are going to be working with would be primarily these three up at the top. So Adobe Fresco, Adobe Draw, and Adobe Sketch. Obviously, if there are apps that you like a lot, maybe you're really into Fire Alpaca or something, go ahead and use those, but these are the ones that I will be trying to show you. And I say trying because I literally just got this iPad and I am learning these apps right along with you. So we are practicing together. Um, a little bit about each of these. Adobe Fresco is a new app and it's a combination of Adobe Draw and Adobe Sketch. So basically, Fresco is going to be replacing these two apps. So these two aren't getting updated anymore. It's all merging into this one. Fresco is a little more complex in terms of the controls than Adobe Draw and Adobe Sketch, which at first may seem a little daunting to get to know and get to learn, um, but in the end is going to have a lot more functionality for you, which is pretty great. So I'm going to just work with Adobe Draw and Adobe Sketch to start with. Um, obviously this is your choice because we're all learning together and the internet's a magical place that has wonderful uh, tutorials and things to show you how to do things, as do the apps. They're already built in, so that's pretty helpful. So let's open up Adobe Draw. This one's going to give you more flat colors. So as you can see, I kind of already started my project. I am going to do it again and just kind of show you a little bit more about it. So I'm just going to pick that because that's what it is. So one thing I want you to notice here would be the layers. So the layers, obviously my little cursor is not helping right now. Uh, the layers are really what's going to help you. So I'm going to import a picture, which is something you all are going to have to do. The controls are the same in the two apps. So we're going to go to image layer and then I saved my picture to my iPad. You could take a photo right away if you wanted. Um, your choice. So on my iPad, and then I have this awesome picture of me in my rocket ship. And I'm just going to drag the edges out to make it bigger. And once I feel like it's in a good spot, I can hit done. And voila, I have this awesome photo of me looking derpy in a rocket ship. Now, this is where the fun starts. So I'm going to head back over here to my layers and you notice how the new layer right here is just got this little pixel box. That shows that it's a transparent layer. So there's nothing on it. It's just empty space. I'm going to select it and then I'm going to drag it up to the top. Maybe. Maybe I'll take my picture and drag it to the middle. There we go. That's better. <laughs> um, that means that this layer, now that it's selected, this is on top of my picture. So I can draw on it, but I'm not drawing directly on my picture. It's like putting a transparent overlay over it. So I can use my two fingers to zoom in on my face if I wanted and swirl it around. Yeah, like, boy, it's getting crazy. <laughs> um, and what I'm going to do is just do a quick sketch to figure out, like, where I want to break this up. So I can choose my brush. Um, I do like the taper brush. Um, then I want to choose my size. I want it kind of smaller. Yeah. And then color. I want to just do black. So I'm going to go all the way to black. And then I'm just going to start to sketch out where I want my image to be broken up. If I don't like it, I can hit undo at the top and that will make it go away. So undo button right here, the little backwards arrow. Um, okay, so I'm gonna just do that again. The harder you press on the taper brush, the fatter the line gets. So that's pretty cool. You get some nice line variation. Um, okay, so I have this broken up in my drawing layer. I'm going to switch my brush to a smaller one and I'm going to zoom in. So now I can start drawing and I'm not going to do this like super fancy because this would take forever otherwise. Um, so I'm just going to 
trace around my image. And remember, you know, the harder you push with your stylus, the heavier your line weight gets, which is pretty fun. I gotta stop talking while I do these things, otherwise it's really hard. Oh, that's another thing. <laughs> um, if you make a shape and you um, just press right in the center of the shape, it will fill it in with color, um, which is a new thing that I just learned. Uh, cool, so we'll just start with that. I can refine it later. It doesn't need to be perfect. That's what's pretty cool about digital art is how easily you can change it. <laughs> oh boy, this is funny. So, what do I have going on here? I'm just gonna stop here for just a second <laughs> and show you the next sort of step here. So. If I want to color this, you can think of these lines as like a coloring book. So I'm going to make a new drawing layer here, and then I just want to move this layer underneath my lines, so that way my lines stay on top. And then I can choose my brush. I'm just going to make this one a little bigger and work with that. And then choose my color. What's fun is if I hold on to the color and drag. I can choose like a color picker if I really want like a specific color for that. I kind of like to make my own, you know, maybe I, I don't know, want to do kind of a weirder skin tone. I think that's up to you. So you could find your skin tone if you wanted, or you could make it up. I don't know, maybe I want to be purple. Who knows? Or blue. Ooh, that would be exciting. Maybe I'm an alien. Let's be an alien. Why not? This is a special place. So yeah, I can just color in. As you can see, the black lines stay on top. And it's okay if I scribble a little out of the lines because I can erase it. Ooh, this is really special. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'm going to use the eraser here and... Here we go, change the size, I'm gonna make it a little smaller. I'm gonna zoom in on these wonderful lips. I mean, this is my best work yet. You all should be super impressed. <laughs> okay, oh, I don't even know. Just bear with me, I'm learning too. Yeah, I got some lips now. Check out those lips. Um. I think I might give them a little dimension. Okay, so I'm going to choose a slightly darker version of those lips and then go to the opacity. Make it just a little more transparent. Okay, so I can... I don't even know if this is worth doing. Let's find out. It's a mystery. <laughs> so... In this instance, Adobe Draw would probably, or Adobe Sketch would probably be a better choice because you can get those like smooth blends of color, whereas here that is not happening. I'm gonna pick that color again. Okay. And I'm gonna lower my opacity even more. I don't know. It might not work. It might look terrible, but that's okay. We're learning. That's the whole purpose of this exercise. Oh boy. Who knows, maybe it'll be really awesome. I mean, that's how we learn, right? Just make some mistakes, and then sometimes you don't know what you just did, but it's awesome. And this might not be awesome. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I think it is awesome. Okay, it's great. So basically that's it. You're just gonna like keep coloring. Maybe I want to, I don't know, paint my silver of my rocket ship. I could just go in and color away. 
Obviously, I'd have more lines drawn at this point, so it would be easier to stay in the lines. But um, yeah, so Adobe Draw is going to give you those flat areas of color. So very cartoony. Adobe Sketch is going to give you the look of more of a painting or a drawing in real life, which, you know, some people like that, some people like this. So I'm giving you options. All right. The rest is up to you to play and figure things out. And it's, I hope you have fun. So I'm just going to speed things up here so you can see how I finish this. Again, I'm not spending a ton of time on this. This is probably like half an hour's worth of work. So since we're in a rocket ship, let's take this thing warp speed. Let's go. Here it is everyone, my very first Adobe Draw experience. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I can't wait to see yours. So thanks for watching and keep creating.